Now, so this purple patch is called coralline algae, and this will grow everywhere. It'll grow all over your pumps, it'll grow all over your rocks, it'll grow all over your glass, and as a generalization, if you've got coralline algae, that means that you are winning. But the aim is to have growing coralline algae. Now the coralline algae, as it grows, is going to suck calcium, carbonate, magnesium. It's gonna lower your pH as it sucks all this stuff out of the water. So it is really important that you keep up with the consumption of the coralline algae. Because when the coralline algae is growing like this, it's going to be hungry for calcium carbonate magnesium. Now, providing that you're keeping the calcium carbonate magnesium up, you're keeping your pH up, your phosphate and nitrate down, then that's an environment that's perfect for the corals to grow. And the coralline algae is a very, very good sign. Things like your sea urchins will tend to eat a little bit, which is okay. <coughs> but as a generalization, if your coralline algae is growing, that means you're winning. If your coralline algae is slowly dying, that means you're losing. And the reason why you'll lose in general is that you're not keeping up your calcium, KH and magnesium and pH. So I want your calcium to be sitting around 440. I want your magnesium to sit at least sort of 12 or 1300. I want your KH to be at least eight. And I want your pH to be 8.4. Under those circumstances, the coralline algae tends to grow really well. If those levels drop, over time, the coralline algae will die off, and that means you're not winning. Anyway, if you've got any more comments on this subject, put a little note on the bottom of this video.